This is a video demonstrating ultrasound scan for an ectopic pregnancy. This is the anatomy of uterus, tubes and ovaries. The one marked in the blue circle is the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube has got four parts which includes isthmic, ampullary, fimbrial and corneal end out of which ampullary is the most commonest site for an ectopic pregnancy. A thick endometrium is an early sign of an ectopic pregnancy which otherwise could be found in a normal pregnancy and also in the secretory phase of a menstrual cycle. The one marked in the center is the thick endometrium in comparison to this picture where it shows a thin endometrium. This is another picture of an ultrasound performed for an ectopic pregnancy which shows a thick endometrium in the center and a lot of fluid behind the uterus. This is the transverse view showing the uterus with a thick endometrium and a bladder next to it. Tubal ring is seen in 14-69% to 69 of all ectopic pregnancies as shown in this picture with a rich vascular supply in the periphery of the gestational sac. This is another picture showing an ectopic pregnancy with an embryo on the left side. Presence of embryo in the ethnic side is found in 16-32% to 32 of all the ectopic pregnancies which is shown in this picture and CRL is the length of the baby that is being measured. Next ultrasound diagnosis is presence of an inhomogeneous conglomerate which is nothing but presence of a complex mass in the adnexal area. As shown in this picture, neither embryo or a gestational sac is clearly identified. Next sign is presence of an intraperitoneal fluid which is found in 10 to 30 percent of all ectopic pregnancies. Echogenic fluid is found in 25 to 36 percent of patients with ectopic pregnancy as shown in this picture which is suggestive of blood and fluid. Also seen next to it is a hemorrhagic cyst with a clot retraction in the center of the cyst. Thank you for watching.